Right in this video, you're going to see in the background some very interesting color combinations that I filmed while I was out. And I just wanted to go over some of the things and what not to do when you're picking a color so that you maybe don't end up with something like these. And maybe you like these colors and you think that they're fine and that's okay. But we're going to talk about what not to do when you're picking a color and how to get one that's going to last. Um, and the things that people do that make mistakes in picking colors for your house. Now, there are tints that you can use to make house paint that are not designed to use on the outside. So, for instance, a really bright yellow to get an extremely bright yellow on a, on a house, um, you cannot use these tints. They will fade out uh, extremely fast. And if you want your house to fade out and have to paint it every three years, then don't listen to what I'm going to tell you in this video. But the colorants that you can use, um, like uh, yellow oxide or burnt sienna, which is basically the same thing, or uh, red oxide, which is, uh, you know, you want to use too much red in your color or it's going to fade. Uh, you you want you can use those colorants um, you can use b c and i which is black yellow and red okay uh, so you want to get to know what those colorants are when you go to the paint store you're going to want to ask them you know are these for exterior uh, the colorants in this color that i picked um, because for instance you can make brown okay with magenta and yellow and if you use magenta and yellow to make brown, you will have a brown that's going to fade out extremely fast. And it might even turn purple over time. The same thing with dark grays. Uh, if you use the wrong tints to make dark gray, um, you will have a gray that's going to fade possibly to purple. And you may not want that. So uh, uh, these some of these houses may have been, you know those types of situations where they hope to get this one color and to make the color they went to like regular paint store and didn't go to a regular paint store they went to like a, a hardware store and had to make the color and they're finding out that later in the game that their color that they picked um, just didn't last and didn't work because it had interior grade tints in it so Getting to know what you can do that's going to last is a key thing when you're painting your house. So let's talk about things that don't work. Uh, so uh, one of the things you don't want to use is thallo green to make your color. Uh, thallo green is, is made with stuff that just is not designed to be on the outside of anything. Um, to make green, you want to use something like uh, yellow oxide and black. You might say to yourself, "Wait, black? Black is not going to black and yellow does not make green." It doesn't normally if you use like a raw black, but house paints black has blue in it. So the black, the blue that's in the black, helps when you added the yellow to it. It makes it green. And if you paint your house a bright color like that, it's probably not going to last. You're going to have to do it like every three years. And as expensive as painting is right now, I think you're going to not want to paint your house. And it's just going to fade out and look horrible. So stay away from thallo green. Another color to stay away from is uh, thallo blue. Thallo blue is pure blue um, tint. And to get that bright of a blue, they can't you know it's not done through chemicals it's done through organic materials that are ground up and those tints are not designed to last they just don't they can't make something that's organic that is going to last that long so to make your blues what you normally do is use black and white so you use b colorant which is b is black and you use white 
and you take it as far as you can go with that eventually it's going to start to turn grayish white and that makes your uh, grayish blue that makes your 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 color look like kind of that cape cod blue and when you see these really really bright blues on a house they're using thalo blue tint and thalo blue tint's going to fade really really quickly and it's going to start to turn white and look horrible you're going to have those faded marks in it you're just not going to like it after a few years and you're going to have to paint it again now there's about like three or four different yellows and i don't remember the names of them all there's one called i know it's ax which is supposed to be for exterior it's a little bit brighter yellow than uh the regular burnt sienna or yellow oxide people call it different things like that um, that yellow still, even though it's an exterior yellow, it really isn't designed to last any long period of time. It might last three or four years, but it's going to fade out to get an extremely bright yellow. You have to use a tint called chrome yellow. When you use chrome yellow on the outside, it will fade all the way to white so if you want a house that the sunny side looks kind of like whitish and the other side looks all bright yellow and weird and faded, use chrome yellow on the outside. It's going to look like trash in like three years. Might not even last that long. So what you have to do is you have to use this really dirty yellow. It's called yellow oxide. You add that to white or P base and you can also add it to uh, the other bases and it'll look more goldish in those bases so if you want that kind of a greenish looking gold kind of color it kind of comes out a little bit kind of green when you put a lot of it in it you can use yellow oxide to do that so uh, but there's limitations on that if you go too much of that you know it's just still not going to last even yellow oxide will fade over time a little bit but it still lasts a lot longer than all the other yellows now, I painted a house in Palm Springs uh, with using yellow oxide as a tint, and I've had it without having to repaint the house. I've just gone through and touched it up for about 14 years now. So it, it can last a long time if you choose your colorants right. If you're choosing these bright, outlandish colors, trying to do a painted lady-looking house, honestly, you know, those houses that they're doing painted ladies on, you know, in these expensive areas where it's a old Victorian home, they might be spending a hundred thousand dollars on painting that house and they'll do it every couple of years. I mean, if you've got that kind of money, that's just up to you. You're going to deal with a lot of faded paint, repainting stuff over and over. And that's up to you. Now, if you go through nice neighborhoods, uh, and you go through really nice neighborhoods, you don't see these bright, bright colors on the homes. So that might give you a clue. Maybe it isn't such a great idea, even if you like it. You know, if you want your house, you know, to look like an old rundown neighborhood, then, you know, paint it these bright colors. And that's just basically what you're getting. So if you stick within those guidelines uh, and you do your house in a way where you're using the exterior tints, black, yellow, and red make almost every color. Black, yellow, and red make gray. Black, yellow, and red make brown. Black, yellow, and red make green. Just less red. You, you might not use any red. <laughs> um, black, yellow, and red can make blue, except you just don't put the yellow in. Uh, so it, it, the, a, a lot of things are made with B, C, and I. And so if you stick with those tents, you're going to be okay. Other ones you can use for exterior are raw umber, which is kind of a dirty black brown color it kind of turns pink a little bit when you add too much white um so if you're trying to do a weird pink color that you can use that but uh, again i don't really like those colors so um if you use magenta that will give you a really bright pink but it's gonna not last very long so colorants like magenta you know where people really make big mistakes as i've seen People trying to make gray, people go, oh, well, gray is black and white. No, it's not. I just explained to you that black and white make blue with colorants for house paints. 
So to make gray, you have to have black, white, yellow, and red. Because you have to take the red, add it to the, add it to the, so that makes almost like a purple. So purple and yellow makes brown, right? So if you, but if you use magenta and yellow, and you make your brown with magenta and yellow, you're going to have this weird faded thing. Well, some of the grays are made with magenta, yellow, and I'm trying to think, um, they use something else to come out really dark. And if you make your, if your colorants are like that in that color, it could fade to a weird looking purple in a very short period of time. So if you want a really weird looking purple house, those are the tints to use. So some of the things you can do if you want to avoid some of this stuff is, again, ask your paint store, are these exterior tints that you're using to make this color? And if the person doesn't know, don't buy your paint there. Go to another store where you get some person who knows what exterior tints are and which ones are going to last on the exterior of a home another thing you can do is you can go to wherever the home depot paint store and avoid looking at the fan deck of all the different colors try and avoid those those things can just get you confused the best thing to do is find something where they make it says on the chart exterior colors and try and pick from there and then even then I would still take the colors and I would talk to the paint tint person and say hey listen are these all exterior colors are these all exterior tints that you use to make these and again if they don't know don't buy your paint there it's just not worth it. If you're going to paint your house and you're going to have to paint it every, every three years because the color you picked won't last, it's better. You're better off today with the price of a paint job. Look how expensive it is to do to actually go ahead and go somewhere else to buy your paint. Now, in Southern California, I've always used Vista Paint, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, I actually went to Dun Edwards once and I had a match of color for me and uh, they made it and, and you know they're not gonna like me saying this but they actually made that color with chrome yellow and I found out a couple of years later because the house had faded out and I had to go do a warranty repair on it and I found out that it was fading out to white because they used chrome yellow to make the tint so now I'm at the point where I just don't trust anyone I asked them and I told them give me the formula and I take each one of their tints and I look it up myself and I make sure that those tints are all exterior tints. So those are things that you need to be proactive on on your own. Maybe even get the formula before you have them tint it. Take the formula, print it out and say, listen, I'm going to look these up. Get your phone out. Say, you know, this formula, this, this, this colorant, so-and-so. What is that? Is it for exterior Will it last? Um, and find out if that formula they're giving you is an actual exterior formula. I remember I was painting a, a big uh, commercial building and there was a decorator involved and they picked a brown. And I thought, well, brown won't be bad. Uh, then I go to get the paint and I look at it and I'm, going, I'm stirring it up and I'm kind of going, this looks kind of purple. Even though it's brown when it dries it goes on kind of purple but it dries brown so i looked at the formula and they used magenta and yellow to make the brown and i'm like no uh-uh this is not going to last and of course you know the you know the decorator insisted on it and it being the same way i'm like listen this is not going to last but if you want me to paint it i'm not warranting anything a couple of years later it faded to a weird looking blue and, uh, you know, that's, they paid to paint it again. So, you know, I, I tell you, you guys, look, if you see these bright colors and you think you want this sort of thing, honestly, I, I wouldn't encourage anyone to paint their houses these bright colors. But if this is what you really, really want, you know, you're going to be doing it a few times. You're going to do it every couple of years and you're going to have something your neighbors are going to hate you. They're all going to look at you and go, oh my God, I can't believe they did this. Why did they do this to my neighborhood? 
when you're making everything else go down and look horrible. Um, because I'll tell you right now, you go into a really nice neighborhood. People have affluent, you know, people with nice looking homes. You don't see colors like these on them. You just don't see it. You see this in the areas where people, you know, don't have any money or whatever. Maybe they're just hiring the cheapest guy they can to paint it and they pick out their colors themselves and that sort of thing. If you, Listen, if you just want to avoid this, stay with earth tones, okay? Most earth tones are going to be made with uh, BC and I. They'll be made with raw umber in yellow in... Uh, I'm trying to think of the other color you would use to, to kill the red. Depends on what it is. If it's kind of a sandy uh, looking tan, kind of those colors kind of can come out okay with raw umber. So some of the times you'll get a raw umber brown will come out pretty nice. A really dark brown. You use raw umber and a little bit of yellow. They make a really dark brown. So... They do that, you know. Um, another color you can use in, in the exterior is brown oxide. It works pretty good, uh, but it's only going to go so dark on the brown. It's going to be kind of a medium brown. Um, so there's that. Um, you really want to stay away from magenta. It's number one to stay away from. No magenta in your exterior color at all. I would not, if it has any magenta in it, I would not use it, number one. Uh, thala blue. I would not use any color that has thala blue on the exterior of anything. Uh, I would not use any color that has thala green on it. It's just not going to last. Okay. Um, and definitely don't use chrome yellow. I've actually seen people make brown with magenta and chrome yellow. And it just it just fades so quick and I don't know what color it's going to turn out. It just starts looking horrible. It probably would paint fade to fade to like purple. You know, I remember the same thing. I remember somebody that formulated a color for another building and they said, Oh, we want this color. This is the color we want. I'm looking at the formula. It wasn't my job. I just was out working on it, helping a guy. And, and I'm like, dude, 